Hi, want to paint a dinosaur? Let's go. First, you need to draw your dinosaur. Here, I traced over my drawing with a Sharpie to define the outline clearly. It's important to focus on the shape and the silhouette. Next, we need to make our stencil. I use Frisket film. It comes in sheets like this I'm using here, or it also comes in rolls. Either is fine. You need to tape the frisket to your drawing and then using a light table or maybe even a window, trace the outline of your dinosaur onto the frisket's shiny sticker site. Now we get our paper. I use mixed media paper because the frisket seems to stick well and it has a nice texture for the paint. Pull the back of the frisket film off and apply the sticky part onto your paper. Now, using a sharp X-Acto or hobby knife, cut out the dinosaur. Be careful not to push too hard. You don't want to cut through the paper, only the frisket. I've cut right through the paper before, and well, you have to start over. Now it's time to paint. You can use any paint you want, but I suggest gouache or acrylics. I suggest sticking with the primary colors, and maybe white or some lighter color to get some value range in your painting. Here I'm starting with a light blue. I find that it's easier to start with a lighter value and go darker from there. Don't feel that you have to completely cover the paper. Here as the brush ran out of paint, it was causing a dry brush effect that I really liked. It added some nice texture to the painting. Now I'm going in with some darker blue values as I try to define the shadows and the form of the dinosaur. This can seem a little tricky because it's harder to imagine where your edge will be when you're done. You can take some practice, but try to stay bold. Try to stay loose and a little messy here. There's some charm to seeing the brush strokes. Now it's time to help define the 3D form of the dino using stripes as our contour lines. I always love orange and blue together, so I'm choosing orange as my second color. You can mix your red and yellow together to make a nice shade of orange. You want your details, like the stripes, to match with the feeling of the rest of the painting. So keep it loose, keep it graphic. I like to splatter paint at the end to give it a little bit of randomness and visual interest. I started here using a brush and my finger, but then I moved to an old toothbrush. I just dipped the toothbrush in the paint and started flicking paint everywhere. Here I'm adding some details, mouth and his eye. Now this is my favorite part. I'm pulling the frisket off of the paper. You really never know what you're going to get and it's exciting and always satisfying. There we go. Well that turned out great. I'm really happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Go and try this out for yourself. And if you do, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to see it. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay, bye.